So in this video, you'll learn how to combine photos on CapCut. So the first step is to open a new project. Then from here, you want to ensure that you're actually selecting photos. So click on the Photos tab, then choose the images that you're going to be combining. So I'll be combining this one and this one. Once you've selected your two images, you can tap on Add, and then you should see them being added right next to each other. So this is the first photo, and this is the second photo. You might also want to get rid of this ending uh, card so that it's easier to edit the photos. So now from here, you want to select the second image, and then you want to scroll through the different options and look for overlay. Once you find overlay, tap on it, and you can see it's been added to the bottom. So now you want to drag it so that it matches with the timeline for the first photo. So select it, and then just drag it until it starts at the beginning so that it matches the timeline of the first photo. So this is how it should look like. Once you've done that, it's then time to adjust the images. So what you want to do is again ensure that you're in overlay. And then from here, you want to select either the first layer or the second layer. It's completely up to you. And you want to use your two fingers and you want to drag them down so that you can now change the size of that specific image. And then once you've done that, you can put it in a, just a random corner. Again, select the next, the other image that you didn't touch first and you want to do the exact same thing to adjust the size of that image. So now it's up to you to decide how you're going to customize these two images so that you've adjusted them to your liking. If you want to add another image, you can always just tap on the add overlay option, select a different photo that you want to add, and then add it. And then again, just follow through the exact same process. You can make it smaller and you can adjust it so that it follows the exact same timeline as the other previous images. So it should look something like this when you're done combining your photos. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.